This is the basic graph of y equals x squared. And if we only use real values of x, we only obtain positive values of y. If x equals plus or minus 1, we only get y equals positive 1, which is here and here. However, if we let x equal plus or minus i, or plus or minus 2i, or plus or minus 3i, we get negative y values. But the problem is, how can we put the negative y values on this graph? The insight is to change the x-axis into an x-plane, in fact a complex x-plane. For instance, the number 3 plus 2i would be put on like this, along 3 and along 2. 3 plus 2i would be there. So if we put on these complex values, we get another parabola underneath the basic parabola, but at right angles to it. I'll just rotate it so we can see it more clearly. Now, to solve the equation x squared equals 4, we would draw the graph of y equals x squared minus 4 and see where it crosses the x-axis. So I will change this into y equals x squared minus 4. And as we can see, it crosses the x-axis at 2 and negative 2. Now to solve the equation x squared equals negative 4, we would draw the graph of y equals x squared plus 4 and see where it crosses not the x-axis but the x-plane. I'm changing the graph into y equals x squared plus 4. There we are. And the solutions are where the graph crosses the x-plane and that is going to be at 2i and negative 2i. So we can see the complex solutions. Now I've moved the graph along to this position so that it crosses the x-axis at 1 and 3. And this is another form of the same equation. So the solutions of this equation are of course 1 and 3 where it crosses the x-axis as we can clearly see in this picture. Now, at this stage, the phantom plays no part in those solutions 1 and 3. But now I'm going to change the equation again. Now I'm going to change the parabola to this position so that the solutions of this equals 0 now involve complex numbers. So take 4 off both sides, find the square root, and we have plus or minus 2i. And so the solutions are, adding 2 to both sides, x equals 2 plus or minus 2i. Now let's try and show this on the diagram. Now this is the graph, and the solutions are complex solutions, and of course they're not on the y, xy plane, they are on the complex x-plane down here. And the solutions are quite clearly, I think, quite clearly, 2 plus 2i and 2 minus 2i. And one final point, if we had the graph y equals x minus 2 squared, and we try to solve the equation x minus 2 squared equals 0, we only get one solution. But quadratics have two solutions. Here is the solution, x equals 2, but the graph actually goes through this point twice. The top half and the bottom half both go through that point.